again, let's study God's Word. So, in Bible verse natin today is from John 1 verse 47. Stand for the truth. Jesus saw Nathaniel coming toward him and said to him, Here is the true Israelite. There is no du duplicity in him. So it's been authentic siya. So, si Shell Crisanto, the sister of Brother Bosa, I just understood that. So, uh, yung story niya, Mrs. Uh, Shell today is that the company keep pushing its marketing team to be aggressive in selling. So the year was about to end, so the team went all the way to reach out their quota. So, uh, syempre, bago matapos yung toon, parang all sales people are striving to reach their sales target for the year. So, ang kwento niya is, Vic and Tom were colleagues so and close friends. Until, uh, I think, Tom discovered, ano, Vic discovered that Tom was doing some anomalies sa company. So, when all these auditors discovered this currency, Tom pleaded with Vic not to squeal on him. So Vic was in a bind, but he knew he had to tell the truth. Tom was disgraced and had to face the consequence of his actions. So misa niya, di ba? Ako, especially when you're an HR practitioner. Parang you're always faced with these situations na people violating the rules of the company. But as an HR, wala kang ano parang you're on the side of management. So kung ano man yung disciplinary action, we have to uh, give it uh, or render it. So, kumbaga, in the end, alam ko, marami akong nakakabangga na parang they get angry or frustrated or disappointed with you. Kaya lang, what's the sure role in the company? As an HR, you have to ensure na ma-implement mo yung policies or rules na binigay sa'yo ng management to protect you. So, there are times when we may have to make a stand that will make us unpopular to others. So, yun nga sinasabi ko, even to our friends, no? When the world takes that the easy but not necessarily the right way, we followers of Jesus are enjoined to take the street and narrow path. We may be persecuted for our choices. Let's not forget we follow in the footsteps of our Savior. So yan, kumbaga, so minsan, sana maintindihan natin the implementers of the law. Parang they have no choice. They, they were given the responsibility in that role. Parang they have to implement it. God bless you all. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and like our video.